a shortcut to raising an exponential expression to the power is to multiply the exponent. 2 to the 5th to the 3rd is 2 to the 5 times 3, which is 2 to the 15th. The formula a n to the m power is equal to a n m. For, for a, what we're going to do is we're going to distribute 5 to 2 to the 1st, which is 2 to the 1 times 5, and 5 to x to the 4th, which is x to the 4 times 5. We get 2 to the 5th times x to the 20th. And 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. It's 32. Therefore, the expression becomes 32x to the 20th when simplified. We're going to do the same thing for b. We distribute 2 over negative 3. So it becomes negative 3 to the second, 2 times 1, x to the 4 times 2, and y to the 5 times 2. Negative 3 to the second is negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9, and x to the 8th, and y to the 10th. x to the 3rd to the 4th is x to the 3 times 4, which is x to the 12. We distribute the exponent to each factors. It becomes 2 to the 3rd, 3 times 1, x to the 6th, 3 times 2, and y to the 15th, 3 times 5. 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 times 2 times 2. So it's 8x to the 6th, y to the 15th. We're going to distribute 3 over negative 3. It becomes negative 3 to the 3rd. And then x to the 5 times 3, which is 15. Negative 3 to the 3rd is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Therefore, it's going to become positive 9, negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9 times negative 3. The answer is negative 27 times x to the 15th. Negative 27x to the 15th. For 4, we're going to distribute 2 over negative 4. Negative 4 to the second. Distribute 2 over a to the fifth. a to the 5 times 2, which is a to the 10. And b squared will become b to the fourth when we raise it to the second power. Negative 4 to the second is 16. 8 to the 10, b to the 4th. We can simplify 2 to the 3rd divided by 2 to the 5th two ways. The first way is to expand 2 to the 3rd, which is 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2, five times. Cancel the twos and we realize that the answer is 1 over 2 times 2 which is 1 over 2 squared. Now if we apply on the other hand the division rule 2 to the 3rd divided by 2 to the 5th will be 2 to the 3 minus 5, which is 2 to the negative 2. We have to reconcile the 2. 
they must be equal to each other. So 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 2 to the second. Notice that the negative exponent means a displaced base. The base will become the denominator and the exponent will become positive. So a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a n if a is different from 0. Notice also, and this one is a difficult one, 1 over a to the negative n means 1 divided by a to the negative n. So it's 1 divided by 1 over a n. Now division is the same as multiplication by the reciprocal. It, it's 1 times a n over 1 which is a n. So 1 over a to the negative n is a double inverse and it means it simply means a n. We're going to write the expression without a negative exponent. The negative exponent is never where it's supposed to be. If it's in the numerator, it becomes positive and we displace it to the denominator, 1 over x to the 7. If it's in the denominator, it becomes positive and we displace it, we put it in the numerator. 1 over y to the negative 3 is equal to y to the positive 3. x to the negative 4 becomes x to the 4th, y to the negative 7 becomes y to the 7. The negative exponent only applies to x, so we keep negative 2 and x to the 5th will become the denominator. So it's negative 2 over x to the 5th times y. We keep x to the 5th, it's where it's supposed to be. We keep 4, it's where it's supposed to be. y to the negative 3 becomes y to the positive 3. We displace the base. 3x is where it's supposed to be. y to the negative 2 becomes y to the 2nd as a denominator. And we're done.